Okay, we're doing a video on oil change and spark plug change on this RV generator. It's the RV QG 4000 Onan Cummins generator. So here's a few things you're going to need. It takes 1.6 quarts of oil, so about, about one and a half. So one full and then about a half of one. It takes 30 weight. That's the preferred. If you're using it in colder weather, you can use like a 1540 or 530. Um, I'm going to use SA30. This is good down to freezing and above 100 degrees. So, And then you, the tool you're going to need to get the uh, drain drain bolt out, you're going to need a Torx 30 bit. So a T30 bit looks like that. It's kind of a star bit. And then 12 millimeter to get the socket off. I'll show you where it is underneath the generator. Generator's here. First step, just, just take off the, the cover to get to it, all right? Right here's our oil fill, and then we're gonna come underneath right here. Underneath is the the drain bolt, and I'll show you where that's at. Okay, just under the exhaust pipe, right there, there's a little cover. There's two bolts on it, teeth, and they're T30, so just take one off, and then just scoot the other one, and then the cover will rotate out of the way. Okay, I'm underneath, I have the cover removed. I wanted to show you this. So once you remove one screw, you remove the screw from right there, and this cover just pushes out of the way. Now you get your 12 millimeter socket up there, move the bolt, drain the oil. It'll drain straight down. You can see the bolt right there. Uh, make sure it's hot too. Start the generator for five, 10 minutes, let the oil get hot, help it drain out a lot better. Okay, we got the drain bolt back in, the cover put back on. And so now we're just gonna use our uh, funnel, stick it in the oil fill. You need kind of one that's got a longer spout to it just so you have easier time pouring oil in. 1.6, so what we're gonna do, pour one of them in. And on the second one, I'm only gonna fill in uh, till it goes down to about that 400 milliliter mark. That'll put 600 milliliters approximately, which is about 0.6 quarts in. So fill that in. Start her back up. All right, we got it all filled up. Just check the oil. Uh, just make sure it's up on the fill level on the uh, dipstick. And then the other thing you want to do when you're servicing the, doing your annual service is just check the air filter. So if you take off this thumb screw right here, there's just two of them you take out, you pull out the, fil the air filter. I change that on a yearly basis as well. And if you see here, here's the part number for it on there so that you can order it. For 20 bucks, guys, you can do the spark plugs, oil, and the air filter. You know, once a year, it's recommended every 100 hours or once a year. So, okay, spark plug's uh, easy. If you see the oil fill right here, the spark plug boot's just right here below. The spark plug goes up under here. So just pull off the boot, take the old one out, and get you a new one. The one I'm using here is a... You see your NGK BPR 5ES. This was what was in there. So I just got a replacement of what was in there. It's only a couple bucks. They do come pre-gapped. I'm just gonna get this started by hand. See how it goes right, right up in there? You can kind of fill the threads and then just... It's best to just kind of get this started and thread it in all the way by hand. That way you don't cross thread it and strip the threads out. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm using this, um, a 13 16th socket. This is a spark plug socket. That needs to be, I'm probably use a non, one, non spark plug socket. But I'm just gonna tighten this up. You just wanna snug it down. You don't wanna overly tighten this. It doesn't wanna be too tight. Okay, snug. Okay, spark plug's easy. Okay, then we just put the spark plug boot back on and just push it on until it snaps, until you hear it snap in. Just push up on it. There you go. Just like that. Okay, the spark plug's changed. 